He's a genius, he's not a people person, but he's my kind of doctor. House. MD. You gotta put the MD afterwards, otherwise people think you're talking about a house. No. Now House is one of the few shows that I own all the seasons to, because it's just genius. So House is the story of a doctor who's a diagnostician. He gets all the weird cases that no one else can figure out, and he solves them every week for you. And I guess they based House on Sherlock Holmes. Get it? Home. House. So he just sees problems and he needs to fix them. He sees how things connect, and if he can't figure it out, it drives him insane. And he has his team of people, and every week they find a new case, and they solve it. And it's a really interesting show, because first of all, I like the character. Like I said before the intro, he's not a people person. He does not care about the people. He wants to solve a puzzle. There's actually an episode where a guy dies and he never solves it before he died. Then he did the autopsy to figure out what it was that killed him. Then he figured it out and he was all good. Does not care about the people. To be fair, he's not an asshole. He's a prick, it's different. But it is part of his personality. Granted, he is damaged. You can't deny that shit. And that really plays in well when he works the clinic. Yeah, you know the clinic where people go in with a stubbed toe and they want pain meds and they think it's an emergency and whatnot? He cannot stand those people. Cause he's like, they're overreacting. Their immune system's gonna take care of the flu that they have anyway. Why do I need to be involved? So it's kind of a throwback to people like us who have worked customer service. If you've worked customer service, you wanna see him work the clinic. Cause he tells them what you've wanted to tell people for years. It's awesome, just warms my heart. And House has chronic leg pain, which is kind of a part of the story, so I'm not gonna ruin it for you, but he needs to take Percocet to deal with it. Problem is now, he's an addict. An addict doctor saving people's lives. Yeah, that shit's real. America! Now for me, I really like seeing House go head to head with someone. Like in season one, there's this guy who's this big corporate guy, he hates House, he's determined to get him out of there, no matter what the cost. So House is like, sweet, someone I get to conflict with. I thrive on that shit. And personally, I understand that. So seeing House conflict with this guy just brings me back to working for some of my bosses. Oh yeah, gonna level with you. I love conflicting with upper management. Like I said, my kind of doctor. Now for me, what I like a show to do is change it up every couple seasons. It's a really dangerous thing to do, like why mess with a good thing, but you gotta do that to keep the show feeling new. This show has done it a couple times and I like it every time. Usually happens in a season finale, so I'm always like, dude, oh, they can't do that next season. Like it's not gonna be the same. And the show surprised me. So in my book, that is some good writing right there. The kind of writing that I see say worth checking out. And this show has a couple of season finales blew my mind. Actually, season four was like the second to the last episode. That blew my mind. Season finale, season five, hair on the back of your neck standing up kind of shit. But I did like what he did in the season finale of seven. That was good. So if you like crass people, sarcastic people who don't like people, but they're like geniuses who are so good at that craft, it's like ridiculous. I say check out House. You're gonna like it. And yeah, the show is seven seasons long, so that's pretty much me telling you right now that you should watch about a hundred feature films, which might make me an asshole, but I think it's worth it. So do you watch House? Do you like those damaged geniuses, are you yourself a damaged genius? We damaged geniuses are a rare breed, I know. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. I'm really losing my voice right now. It's all raspy. I don't know why. It sounds like Rachel Ray and shit. Toss my salad.